machines you're doing this to me. That's the worst thing in my life, I think. People pointing at machines like this at me. But I'm having a good time. Good. I'm learning. I've been practicing.
back to what was as a foundation for what we would like the state and the region and the community to continue to be. I really must compliment this city and everybody involved in it, not only for the breadth of revitalization, but for the quality of what has been accomplished. I think all you have to do is look around and see the extra pains and the loving care that was given to the restoration and improvements that have taken place. I had an opportunity to be with some of the other governors of the region in Lowell the other day, and certainly Massachusetts is very proud of what has happened in Lowell. But I really do think that Portsmouth doesn't have to take a back seat to anyone, and when we compare what we have done here uh, with the investment of resources that has come from within and the care and interest of the citizens, uh, I think we can be very, very proud of it. This is the ninth Market Square Day. I think this is a tradition that is here to stay in New Hampshire. I'm very pleased to be a part of it, and I express my appreciation to all of you who over the years have continued to make it, and I'm sure will continue in the future to make it one of the great summer events in the state of New Hampshire. Thank you very much. I just want to say we also have a token of our appreciation for the governor. Holly has another plate, a handmade plate from Strawberry Bank to present to the governor, and we appreciate him bringing the sunshine with him from Concord. It's very nice today. Thank you very much. It's out there. I will be very brief. You know, we've got a very popular state for people to visit. Many of my colleagues ask me about coming to New Hampshire and what they should see and what they should do. And I can tell you that one of my favorite phrases is, we have a small seacoast, but we have a gem on that seacoast, and that gem is called Portsmouth. Come visit it. And that's what I'm doing this morning, visiting with all of you in this celebration of the continued renewal of this great seaport. Enjoy yourself today. Your committee deserves great credit. I'm just glad to have a chance to enjoy the sunshine, get out of the Washington humidity, and meet some real people. Thank you very much. We also have a plate for Senator Rudman, too, to welcome him to Portsmouth. Right. Thank you. All right. And now the part many of us have been anxiously been waiting for, the annual awards for Citizen and Organization of the Year. And here to explain this year's awards, the chairman of our committee, Holly Young Air. them in their ritual of running to maintain their constant state of physical fitness. However, without much pomp, our military stewards have ever been present as active volunteers in our seacoast communities bringing the first formal sunset parade to New Hampshire in 1983, they annually bring a tear to the even the most modest of patriots with their parade, review, and formal lowering of the colors on the eve of Portsmouth's 4th of July celebration. They have assisted in the New Hampshire Special Olympics in Durham and have often shared their time, experience, and friendship with the Weevilos and Boy Scouts of Kittery on their camping experiences. They have been speakers in our schools for such events as career days, and we have saluted the banners of their passing color guards parade after parade. For countless miles, they have marched to assist in our celebrations and observance of holidays. They assisted with the visits of the tall ship Simon Boulevard, Gorsh Falk, the Eagle, the HMS Sirius and HMS Southampton, both in formal settings and the occasional sporting event. They have always been involved in community activities other than parade duty. They came to the forefront several years ago when their commander, then Major, now Lieutenant Commander, Donald Welch, preached an even heavier emphasis on community involvement. Their current commanding officer, Major Mark Goodman, continued this exercise of enrichment for our community and his men, despite their even intensified training program that is a part of their career. It is fitting that the Portsmouth Marine Barracks receive this award from a community steeped in military history. On the field, in the field, and off, the men of the Portsmouth Marine Barracks stand as a model of commitment and service to country and community.
enforcement the best city in New Hampshire and the finest place on the seacoast. Thank you very much. Has been the enhancement of harbor attractions through the Chamber of Commerce's Maritime Heritage Commission. He picked up where the original Tall Ships Committee of the city, initiated by Councilman Bill Keith, left off by initiating and being elected to the chairmanship of the MHC. He has penned volumes of correspondence with the assistance of Mayors Weeks, Foley, and Keenan to foreign governments, naval attaches, embassies, and consulates. Potential has been electric, generation, generating enthusiasm through hundreds of volunteers. And together with Major Mark Goodman of the Portsmouth Marine Barracks, he has been responsible for the initiation and perpetuation of the city's annual sunset parade. But his community enthusiasm has spread far beyond that. Whether it is gifted role in the creation of such organizations as the Surrey Street Open, he has been there when he was needed. He has been deeply involved in the beautification of Surrey Street, an initiator of the Old Harbor Restaurant Association, and an active supporter of the Seacoast Family Y. He is also an active lobbyist for the New Hampshire Hospitality Association, posturing the industry's concerns. His manner is often brusque or gruff, brisk or gruff, but he really does have a heart of gold underneath. And through his restaurants, he has enabled many college students the ability to afford their education. Kisses from maidens have metamorphosed a callow frog into a prince, who annually also masquerades as the Easter Bunny a jolly, roly-poly Santa Claus, and the dubitable Miss Sari Street Open. Fittingly, an ex-Marine, Pro Portsmouth proudly presents this year's Citizen of the Year Award to Peter Pierce Rice.